Yeah, that is what we in the business call perfectly adequate. Hello and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. My name's Master Fong, and my wife is on a plane on her way to Greece. I could not be filled with more envy, but I love her and hope she has an amazing time. So in the meantime, let me fill the yawning chasm of emptiness in the center of my soul that is her absence from my immediate vicinity with, uh, with some streaming. Now let's get back to Dark Souls, because I took some days off. I mean, we were busy. We had things to do. You understand. And, uh, yeah, I, I know I don't have a lot of good lighting right now. Sorry, everything's in boxes. Everything that I have. It's all in boxes. My world is tape and cardboard. Oh, that's right. We, uh, we just completely and utterly bodied the Nameless King last time. Well, this place was nice. This place was fun. And now we can leave it forever and never come back. Going to Lothric tonight. Going to Lothric to have ourselves a good time. Let's see if my classic patented party trick is working. Wonderful. Yeah, I haven't done a night stream in a while. I, uh, I'm excited. It's a different kind of energy. If that makes any sense at all. Welcome home. Speak that. And also, I'm super excited to be playing Dark Souls, so Very that's always well. a plus. Then touch, take no. Oh no! Numbers that don't matter! The most important things to focus on! Okay, uh... God, it really is tempting to... Well, no, no, we're dropped down to three points per attunement now. Thirteen for health. Uh, 99 strength? Did I hear 99 strength? Oh, look at that! If we put two points in, we actually get two points per level instead of just one. And our defense goes up. Honestly, I should probably just start putting these into other categories that would allow me to do whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. But there's just no... there's no chintegrity in that. And oh my god, how have I not used that as a title yet? That might be the last stream. Yeah, I, just, I gotta remember that. If only there was some way I could, like, like, you know, record what I was saying so that I could remember that. Yeah, Chintegrity, we're definitely using that one. Uh, for today, yeah, I think we're gonna go 99 strength. I don't think I have any characters with 99 stats in Dark Souls 3, so why not? We can always head over to Loretta and give her a floppy, disgusting, pale tongue and run the risk of her turning us into a maggot person. It's all fun in the end. Farewell, I shall make the... Speaking of end, we're rapidly approaching the end. We've only got one true area left to go here in the main game. And then we get to head into the DLCs, which I know are going to be a lot of fun. But I'm also kind of hoping that they'll also be, I, I don't know, just slightly agonizing <gasps> for you guys. As I said, now, the only thing, although my dark that would... Oh yes, uh, Carla here is a dark sorceress of the abyss, and she she just she doesn't want to in, she doesn't want to corrupt us and infect us with her lifestyle choices. But uh, we, we, we don't care. Hmm. We we want to learn dark sorceries. You're very well. Only Some bad bitches learn dark eyes. sorceries. Be careful, though. Let it. Oh. Let's see. We this... found all these in the demon ruins. Oh. And one night and, Yeah, sorry if I'm skipping through that dialogue, but it's it's just it's not it doesn't have anything to do with the lore. You'll be fine. We'll be fine. Listen, Markiplier is currently doing videos in a bathtub, okay? He's the golden standard. Whatever he says goes, so if he can stream in a bathtub, I can half ass like 80% of what I do. Do stay And safe. everyone's gonna be alright with it. All right, uh, I think I've dicked around long enough here. There's nothing else to do but to head off to Lo well, Yeah, that's right. We sent Grey Rat out. We dealt with Henri. We've cleaned up just about everything there is NPC-wise. Very lazily, we took the murder approach in this run, which, you know, is no shortage of fun, but it doesn't quite uh, flesh out each of the characters as well as, say, not killing them would have. Patches, you still up here, you old so and shit. Oh, hello, God. Indeed he is. It's been a while since I've gotten black firebomb. Let's just top ourselves off. 
Always good to have a healthy store of those suckers. Thanks, good. All right, now I've dicked around enough. Oh wait, but of course, organization is next to godliness. And by organization, we mean throwing everything in a box, locking the key, and just turning a blind eye. It gets the job done. Oh, Nameless King, done and dusted. All right, uh... So yes, we have to go to the Dragon Barracks, and <laughs> we actually have to deal with a pretty annoying section. But as we all, we all know, annoying equals content. Content is the suffering of others. Filmed, it is known. Yeah, yeah, the pus dragons. Uh, it's time to deal with the pus dragons. Or, yeah, actually, maybe not. I, I distinctly recall liking to jump off the bridge and say, fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh, yeah, but, yeah there we go. Item over there. Uh -huh. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back. Okay, we're not gonna stop that thing. Yeah, yeah. The wasted time, it's all coming back. Let's just play them the lullaby of go to sleep and reset the area. Maybe we'll have a shot. Go, Chin! Go! <laughs> now, ordinarily, I would uh, be very careful in these areas. But I feel it has been the theme of every stream up to this one. Fuck that! Let's go in! Guns blazing, balls to the wall. And you learn, or you live and you don't learn, and then you probably live a little less longer than you would have if you had learned. Therein lies the rub with learning. Yeah, you know, old try, old try and true, old reliable. do a full run through in Dark Souls 2 uh, in the Jester garb. No weapon. That's, that's the kind of clown that I am. That's the kind of circus I deserve. Oh, damn it. Curse my greed. My filthy, filthy greed. No, no, no. We can't, we can't stop. We need, we need to kill the lizard. I have a thousand of these sitting in a box. I have dozens of titties, my twinkling tits running over, and yes, I must have the ones in this list. I don't think you quite understand, gentlemen. I don't think you understand how dire it is that I have all of the twinkling titanite. No other reason that no one else should have any of the twinkling titanite. <laughs> that man had a flawless had a perfect, had an, had a, just an immaculate textbook, point A to point B sidestep. That man was a ninja, he was anime, he was fire. In his mind and in reality, he was shooting through time and space, deftly dodging that blade, coming up right behind me for the perfect critical hit. And then my claymore just hit him, just hit him anyway, just killed him. Just my claymore in, in that direction, Completely void of the airspace where his body now resides, still managed to kill him. I love, I, I love you, Claymore. I just, uh, I just. One of these days, I'm just gonna take you somewhere, somewhere on the beach by the Cathedral of the Deep, and I'm just gonna hold you and walk with you, Claymore. 
And it will be good. All right, what's next? Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! My, uh, I'm getting going saga for getting who I can record. You, sir, record! Yes, I know, it's an abhorrent rapport. There's nothing to score. In fact, did someone say it's a store? Or a door? Personally, I find it to be a bore. Yeah, yeah. We're going on rhyming tangents. Yeah, nighttime is definitely just a different energy. Fun stuff, though. For me. Anyone that graces me with their attention. Oh right, all of the all of the hollow assholes are back. Well, we did need to make another jump, so I think it all worked out in the end. Actually, we need to that's that's why this part annoys me a little bit. It's not the enemies, it's not the, the gauntlet of like fire and the, the things you need to avoid. Honestly, it's just the back step the back step. It's the going to this place three, four times. Because, like, you need to jump down this specific ledge to get this item, and then jump on this ledge to get this item. And, oh boy, ain't that just just so much fun. Retracing an area that I, that not a, that I haven't even just been to. Nay, nay, retracing an area that I'm currently in. It's just, it's, this, it's nostalgia without all the waiting, guys. It's just extra steps. afraid here. But then I, I do, I get like muscle memory in these seconds. Whenever I run through, I'd be afraid. I try and dodge this guy because he, he can hit me with an undead hunter charm and then, oh no, I wouldn't be able to Estus and I might need to Estus. These two guys are pretty tough. And then I remember, no, fuck this. You got an Elden Ring that I played. Shoot, raw physical damage negation that I'm currently including. The Baymor in all its shiny splendor. I don't, I don't need to be afraid anymore. I'm not afraid! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. The home loan house is selling for like $5 million. I'm not afraid anymore! Did you hear me? That meme really should come back. Especially for the, like, the horrible parts of Elden Ring. Alright, honor your brother by killing your brother. Here you go, I'm gonna warm him up for ya. Get in there, Lost Knight, the water is fine. Glorious strike. Glorious strike, Lost Knight. What poise and grace. Let, let I dare say I want to try one myself. Yeah. I'd like to try a peanut drink of my own. Yeah, I've been I've been rewatching Smiling Friend season two. It's it's rubbing off on me. I'm a sponge when it comes to, to shows, guys. And and God bless my wife for dealing with that. Wait a minute. No, I'm remembering. I'm supposed to run. I'm not supposed to pause here. Even though I want that shiny, I need to come back for those shinies. Because of the asshole dragons. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, alright. Let's... Oh, wait, no. Nope, that's when we hit the steps. Okay, no, no, no. I can get these shinies. And there is an asshole downstairs. That will also have to be dealt with. play this game. How about just kick the man's ass and call it a day? Alright. Oh, I'm right at night! Look at you! You gonna be getting me Vorkin 2? Electric Boogaloo? Well, we already got a dance. You wanna be the mime of the Boreal Valley? Just sit in the corner and not do anything? Be silent? That's a fucking late game outrider. As evidence from his sheer unrelenting bullshit. It's hard to find an opening. You know, if you're not a psychopath and memorizes every single enemy's attack chain in this game and can soul level one with a broken straight sword and a white cloth, yes, yes, I, I, I'm not claiming to be the best. I am, I am simply claiming to be a traveler on the same road, even if I choose to use a gigantic shield. <laughs> no, no, really, all, all seriousness. I, I'm very happy that I decided to go with the great shield for my run of Dark Souls 3, just to, to once again show in the hierarchy of shield use that this game just did, gave no fucks 
Like, like people, people complain in Elden Ring that there's no easy. Okay, no, no I'm sorry, I'm being vague here. There was a legend complaints from a legend people that you know Elden Ring was too hard, and then of course you had people on the other side saying Elden Ring is too easy. But regardless of all the ins and outs and the minutia and the finer points. Of, of every Souls game, and I'd even include Sekiro, Bloodborne, Demon Souls, of all of, of all of that. I've lost my point completely, sorry. I forgot what I was saying, and I, I was immediately trying to remember the spawn locations for the assholes that throw stuff at me in here. To, to, be, to be frank, and to repeat what I've said many times in the past, great shielding in this game is a joke. People would make the joke, they're like, oh, well, if you want easy mode in Elden Ring, just, uh, just, you know, be a sorcerer, be a mage. And it's very true. Magic's busted. 110% good time, 10 out of 10 would recommend. But, uh, but in this game, I feel it's definitely this. It's definitely right here. It's just time to be The plate of justice. Uh, I remember there was a reason I didn't run up here. I thought there was there was a very important reason to not run up here. But I'm, I'm going to throw caution to the way as I've been doing. I'm just giving the old college try. I know there's plenty of things that I'm that I'm neglecting in there, but uh, as I said before, we're gonna have to spread our steps through this area multiple times. So let's not get hung up just yet on what we've missed. Boy, this castle must have been something else in its heyday before all the rot and the disgusting and the poop everywhere and the heavy sea and the. The big tongue chest. Hey, actually, no, maybe the big tongue chest were part of this kingdom's original charm. And people would come from miles around to see and, and take painting renderings of the tongue chests. Eventually, there was a black market in the tongue chest for traffic. It was a terrible time for the kingdom. There used to be a PR knight, but he was uh, guillotined pretty fast. After the tongue chest traffic is mm, Yeah, normally I would have to deal with you, but thankfully I don't have to deal with you. Let's go back down. Let me. Uh, I, I, I just got this feeling that there's some great and powerful piece of shit that I forgot to pick up. Oh, there's a little sub sub and an asshole. But at least I didn't blow up. Yeah, firebombs! <laughs> the item that we just bought 25 of. All right. You know, it's not always wasted time. Some sometimes those moments, absolute treasures. Uh, so as I recall, I like to actually soul this guy, and I don't remember why. Well, we're gonna see if it actually is worth my greed. Elden Ring ruined, ruined that for me, too. You, I mean, the fact that right now with my mage, I'm carrying, I think, 50 million runes. Like, Elden Ring, they... The scaling still feels the same, but they just upped the numbers. Like, instead of starting with the first boss giving you, like, 2,000 souls and that being a couple of levels, I think the first boss gives you like five to ten thousand in Elden Ring, and they 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 scale up. They they get a lot bigger. All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's, let's give this the old double deuce. So yeah, you attack the dragon, and it's like oh, it's dead, it's dead. oh no, I suck. but everything's bad. You know what? I should use the bow and arrow. Because then I forgot to put my helmet on. 69,000? Nah, I don't think that's worth it. I, I, me, the Lord of Greed, is going to take the night off. The second I said that, I regretted it. The, the second I said that, I was like, is this what it is to make a promise that you don't really mean? 
And we still got to deal with... Oh, that's right. Yeah, you kill one dragon, the other one dies too. But he's still full of pus. So we got to head over there and... I almost said do some hoof GP, but we're, we're, we're not doing anything humane or ethical. We're not helping. We're, we're harming. Everything's dying out of our sheer greed and power lust. Mm, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll make the drop. I'll make the drop first. It's all just a big circle, right? It's all just a big fun circle. A big circle of fun. A big circle jerk of fun. Everyone's just jerking each other off. It's so much fun. And look, look at all this time we're spending doing it. Now, I, I know I'm complaining to myself about myself here. I, I said I'm getting all of the shinies and showing all of the secrety doodles and optional areas. Uh, I'm just, well, we're rambling. We know it. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. Markiplier, bathtub, rambling, okay? Get it? Yeah, I'm doing things a little out of order from how I usually do them. But who cares? It's all part of life's rich tapestry. Oh, and I forgot that stupid shiny up there. Yep, 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 yep. That's about right. And the circle continues. The largest, biggest circle of jerks you've ever seen. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm rusty. I'm out of practice with Dark Souls 3. It's been 14 years since I played it last. Elden Ring came out and that was it. Goodbye every other game. Now, we, we all know that's not true. But man, uh... Y That, this DLC is, I, I feel that like the very few times in life throughout the universe are there instances where you can be like, the, the chances of this happening are absolute zero. There's a 0.0% chance that this will happen. Uh, but, but I think we can fairly statistically, mathematically say that right now, that, uh, that there's a 0% chance that this Elden Ring DLC will disappoint me. And I haven't said that in years. God, I was an ignorant little naive little scamp back in the day when I actually believed in decency <laughs> and art. Okay, all right, jaded BS aside. No, I like I, this DLC. I, I'm beyond excited because I know I'm going to have fun, but I also, I just feel it's going to outdo my expectations. Uh, FromSoft uh, just has given me no reason to doubt them. Look at this asshole. Look at this fucking shiny asshole. He's like, man, I, I gave my whole life for this. I dedicated everything. I've got magic. I've got, I've got the crown on my side. I've got the prayers. And I never learned how to free scale a wall. This is embarrassing as shit. Come down here. Let me defend my honor now. No, I'm, uh, I'm not going to do that. Wait a minute. I pulled the lever, but... Can I? I can't. You can re-pull the lever. I didn't know that was a thing. I honestly did it. I don't know what purpose it serves, but all right. You know, now normally I would. I would run around and I would go face them from the front. But we're, we're doing it the the road less traveled, and he's gone, and he's forgotten about us. And, and off he goes. Okay. Well. Hi. Remember? Yes, yes, you blessed your sword last time, too. Oh, he's got his little lightning blade. That's right. Stand! Stand for your kingdom! Fight for your honor! <laughs> Lose for your legend. Don't worry, we'll sing songs. We're coming up with one already. Da -da 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 yeah, no, it's going on your tombstone. Da -da 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 now, where's... I know there's another... You! You! You're the dangerous one. You're the one that's actually got Jesus' ear. 
You got it in with the big man. You're giving these guys attack buffs. We can't be having that, no sir. Not my good non-Christian Lothric. What religion is this again? Fire do method of baptismalization? Do we have a messiah or, or do we just worship someone every day of the week? It's hard to keep all these things straight. Theologians, you know? Okay. So, funny thing is, everything that we just did, and even the boss we're about to face, that's sort of like the precursor to the actual area, which is the Grand Archives. All the same. Lots of fun. Great decor. Uh, and yeah, now we got a boss to face. Boss that I think I might use the same shield we used for the Nameless King. God, what's, you know, what use are all these seats if there's no one to fill them? And, and, yet again, Dark Souls, Dark Soul, Dark Souls 3 is infamous. Sort of good, sort of, what would I use this for? Shortcuts. There's some really weird shortcuts in this game. Dark Souls 1 had, had great shortcuts. Dark Souls 2 had great shortcuts. Dark Souls 1, I think, were, like, the most spread out, so they felt earned. Like, when you, when you finally found a shortcut in Dark Souls 1, you're like, This leads back here! Oh, God, yes! Oh, thank God, the bonfire! I never really felt that, even on my first run-throughs of Dark Souls 3. Rather, because things are decidedly more linear than the other Souls games... <laughs> oh, that'll buff right out, guys! No. Don't you worry, I, I, yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. You, when you're done taking your naps, you guys can get up, put them back together. He ain't no Humpty Dumpty, right? <laughs> Ooh, you know, Lothric, horse, Lothric Knights on Horses would have been something to say. I'm really glad that they, they decided to add, like, mounted combat and mounted enemies in Elden Ring. Oh, God, what wonders await us. In fact, the only thing that's, like, bad that came from the Elden Ring, much like from Grace and Gold and Shadow, with the great DLC announcement came, <laughs> came the confirmations, the confirmed lore, the confirmed characters, the confirmed gameplay mechanics, the confirmed next game. <laughs> now, I think I bitched about that in another stream, so I'm not gonna rehash that. Click clickbait is, is at an all time high. Clickbait creators are eating. They have been eating, and I'm not really sure when they'll stop eating. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good year for clickbait every year, it seems. Alright, just scoop up a little bit of that, and then come over here, and then, uh, oh yeah, no, that's yeah, no, two, two weak-ass crossbow boys, that's a trap. All right, not so weak. Took, uh, took this tree-sized great arrow to the chest and neck like champions. Well done, soldiers. I will acknowledge your bravery by meeting you in pitched combat. Mono and mono. Yes, good game and well struck. Ruffian Rapscallion heathen coming out of nowhere in the middle of a gentleman's club. Look, at the end of the day, guys, I'm having fun. And that's all I need to worry about. But I but I do understand. Uh, if you ever feel like you, you need to call emergency services on my behalf, please don't. Nah, it, I can't stand by that one. That, that, that was almost a joke. Then I ran out of steam with it halfway through. Now we'll, ju we'll just, we'll edit that out. We've done it before. We'll just edit that out. Oh, that stupidity it could just... Yes, sir, it's 2024. It's anybody's world. All right, I'm, I'm covering from time right now because while I know where I'm going here, I, I feel like I missed an item. 
It's that constant nag of not being greedy enough, you know? We all have to live with it. Well, I really expected you to be more aggressive. Yeah, like that! Alright, good stance. Good power stance. Pivot, alright, pivot. Pivot, you're not pivoting. Pivot, pivot. Alright, try pivot. There you go! There, there, now you're pivoting! Oh god, alright, too much pivoting. Stop pivoting. No, less pivoting. Okay, now pivot. <laughs> oh! So close. So very, very close. Hey, have you ever been, like, disrespected hard? You know, like, in the middle of, like, a gentleman's sword match, and suddenly he just went like, Closed casket, motherfucker! Well, let's be honest, every casket is a closed casket. These hollows must smell horrible. I mean, look at that gingivitis! Oh, God, I can see it from here! And I'm about to take on a dragon that's stuffed with, like, the black abyssal pus of the human soul. And yet them gums! Yeah, I'm probably gonna do some resting and shortcutting before we face this boss, just because I've been particularly a uh, silly bitch tonight. Not okay, we've all been on 30. Okay, good. I'm like, wait, my party might have died. And then the audio would kick out, and then people wouldn't be able to understand me, and that would probably be for the best. Switch your turn, Puff Dragon. Switch your turn, please. Switch your turn. <laughs> you know what? Oh! Coffee. You have earned the respect that my father never gave me. So, you haven't earned any respect. That's a joke. Let me get. Alright! Uh, yeah, all that's left to do is just abuse firebombs. I don't think it's God, that saved me so I got over half. Half of my insta-death meter. So with all the items, we're gonna get, what, 80 grand? 100 grand! Maybe it did make that much of a difference. Okay, now we got some decisions to make, and I'm feeling particularly cocky. And arrogant and cacksure and arrogant. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, let's be arrogant. We cleared everything out here. Fuck resting. Let's go fight us a boss. But I need to equip the clamshell. Because I like to use the clamshell. For two reasons. One, it neuters this boss. And two, uh, he uses the clamshell. So, one of those Kirby scenarios, one of those neener neener, I'm better than you are. That's a nice blank that you have. Be a shame if somebody copied it completely and used it better. Yeah, if we just held this shield a little higher, I actually would use it all the time. It's, uh, it's shield bash ability is worth it. So I've got five Estes. Yeah, I'm gonna actually have to try and like be careful if I keep taking shots from this guy. He's gonna fold me up Having said that we've got a claymore in a pocket full of miracles so like yeah, my money's still on us Ho 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 Yeah, all right here we go Uh, 
Can someone play Flight of the Valkyries? Yeah, that's good too. kind of shrivel up and die too yeah that's the Katoom King's garden down there oh uh, which further proves what I was saying the other day so right there that's the consumed King's Cathedral that's where the uh, Cathedral Knights are the ones that I <laughs> made fight each other because duh get everything back the way I like it so yeah behind there is is basically a forest but we don't find that forest no, we, uh, we shoot through Dimensional Rift and head to the Untended Graves. Fun stuff. Great place. Alright, now we can rest. And then we can head this way. Alright, guys, now it is an long and arduous journey to the next bonfire. The uh, Grand Archives are not to be underestimated. We, you know, secure Dragon Slayer Armor's Bridge, and then we have the grueling fight to the Grand Archives. All right, we made it. And that was, I gotta say, it was touch and go. And I was kind of worried. Uh, we, we did manage to get the shiny. I don't know how we pulled that off. Like, raw luck, pure luck. But uh, we did it. We made it to the Grand Archives. No, don't hold the applause. Keep the just keep the applause coming. Don't stop the applause. No more, more applause. Like, come on, that so much more applause. So much more applause. All right, fine. That amount of applause will have to do, I guess, if it's the best you can manage. Yeah. Uh, now let's run in here with a million souls, because that's smart, right? It's smart to run into a new place with a million souls that I could be spending on strength. But why do that? Why? When I could not do that. By embracing the stupidity, I am not picking the smart. And by not picking the smart, I am discovering new avenues that may be smart. The mystery box could even be a boat. I'm really regretting that I didn't buy that eight pound bag of gummy worms now. I do still have half a watermelon. I'm feeling particularly manchy. All right, let's let's uh, let's press on. I want to do the Grand Archives today, or at least get us to the tower. Probably get us to the roof. 
and then maybe next stream I'll start with the roof and Lothric, and then we'll go right into the DLC. That, that sounds like a good time, actually. I'm trying to just play it by ear, and I feel like I can keep going. I'm, I'm up for it. Usually I use the golden pine resin for this. Boy, man, there is no weapon like Foresight. Foresight will just, it'll win you the day every time, I tell you what. Off you go, off you go, bitch. I'll be coming back for you. Early game enemy that now I would underestimate him if you hit me, he'll take out half my health, and then I'll be like, oh my god, you're not an early game enemy at all! And fuck you, crystal bitch. Crystal saggy ass. Crystal big head bird beaked bonanza bitch ass bastard. Bon bon ball buster. I'm, yeah, I'm really liking the alliteration. Can you blame me? Look at all these books. Oh, jeez, that was embarrassing. Hold still, Crystal Lizard. Ah, here we go. And one more for good measure. All right, so basically, I'm not going to say this place is a maze, because I do have the layout memorized. Which, on a personal note, always just tickles me that I can, like, memorize these bizarre maps and outlyings of video games, but when it comes to, like, just going down a road two blocks over, my brain short circuits and loses its shit. And has no idea where it is. Oh, you're interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe you're the one I get from the ladder. Hello, scholars! The scholars! What we learning today? How to be assholes! Well, I see you've mastered the lesson! Yeah, so that's wax, and it is used. I mean, I, I like to imagine it's bird shit because fuck these guys, but that's wax. And it is used to handle the hazard of this area in the long running saga of, oh boy, this is like a cool environmental effect, but it's not nearly as dangerous enough as it could be or as prevalent as it should be for me to remember it and be like, yeah, this really ruined my time in this place. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Oh, Mr. Shield Man. <laughs> Try me. Can put your shield up. Everybody's shields go up. And they punk ass. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's play that game. I'll play that game. We'll go down that road. I'll go down that road. I bring no GPS either. We're raw dogging that road. No four wheel drive. This thing is a Vespa. Not even road lead. But we're going down that road. Uh, no, I, I stand by it. it. It is fun. It is fun to just nonsense. I think a lot of people could stand to nonsense more. It might not be so much violence in the world. Actually, no, no, that's not true, because most violence is probably the result, ultimately, of lack of stability, which is a result of rampant greed, which is never going to end, so... Alright, so we got alliteration and nihilism. That's, that's what night streams are now, apparently. I wonder if I should change my name to Nihiliteration? Nah, it's, it's not quite as ringy as I would want it to be. All right, so uh, this place is filled with cursed books, which are cool. They're a cool effect, and if we don't have wax head, the cursed books do damage to us, and they infect us with instant death, which is very scary. Thankfully, though, we have wax head. Crisis averted, didn't it? Nah. And we 
find power within! And what, the witch locks, I think? And the witch's locks! None of that helps us or matters in the slightest. Let's continue to vandalize library and assault librarians! You know, normally I'm not one to suggest banning books, but maybe some of these novels gotta go, you know what I'm saying? The ones with the shadow hands that reach out of the pages and strangle the life from us? Those books. They should probably be banned. Oh my god, will you just give me five seconds to myself? Oh my god. Oh, Crystal Sage, why are you? Why are you? Alright, let's play this. Let's play this tactically. Let's play this. God, I don't have anything else, sorry. Yeah, my, my mind's kind of going to mush, guys. Uh, assuming that you hadn't already considered it to be mush, which, looking back, I may have to redefine the meaning of the word mush in context of my brain. Nah, mush, it's mush. We're all mush. Everything's mush, guys. Happy mush. 47 minutes, 20 seconds, and mush. It's just... It's just uh, I'm stuck between wanting to enjoy this place and sh take a big old shit on all these books. I want to shoot these guys, but I really want to kick the Crystal Sage in the balls. Can you stop throwing your empty beer bottles at me? Yeah, I get it. You're a librarian. You drink. I mean, why wouldn't you? Alright, uh, let's take a risk here. Uh, did I hit that ladder or was I dumb? Oh, that's right, we shield. I, yep, I was dumb. I didn't hit the ladder. There's a bit of backtracking here in the archives, too, unfortunately, for all the items. But we just re waxed our head, so I think we got to Don't disappear on me yet. No, 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 no. You and I have more things to talk about as soon as the wax goes away. Burn in hell! Burn in hell! That's where you deserve to burn in hell. Disappear and go to the fires below. Oh, burn in hell! Burn in hell! Burn in hell! Satan's team. Fucking plunging attacks, man. Plunging attacks in Dark Souls 3 are as powerful as the great shields. Oh god! Oh, we're not waxed! We've lost our wax! We need to get a fresh wax, is what I'm saying. Oh, piss on me, eyes! No, no, actually, this is okay. We can head this way, and I think there's a... Uh, Trap door where we can. Anybody know where I can get some wax around here? Need, need a good waxing. I need to coat my head in wax. How do you guys have you never heard of this before? It's all the rage. The other kingdoms. The study of waxology. It's first grade, Lothric scholars. Waxapalooza. Johnny wax off. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm a uh, far too hungry and tired for human consumption. Yet. Here I am. Recording my likeness in perpetuity. That's fine. All we are is dust in the wind, all that, yada yada. Remember, ni alliteration and nihilism. <sighs> All right. Uh, gonna be real honest with you, Outrider Knight. I hate you, and I wish you would die a quick and painful death. Painful because you deserve it. Quick, because I got shit to do. And 
Alright, you wanna, you wanna do another one, huh? Set. A really cool set, but uh, well, I guess uh, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. My bad. A really cool set that you get late game, but like you get it late game, and there's better sets. And darn, just being an outrider actually would be really cool. They got that frostbite drip, which I just love. The This is absolutely wrong, but I want to say the liturgical irony. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Oh, I got so much left to go, and I feel so very... Mad. That's the word. Mad. Insane. Uh, uh, crazy puff sukuku? Wait, did I... Did I, did I get the, the lever... I'm moving on autopilot here. I'm really hoping I got the lever. I think I got the lever. If I didn't get the lever, boy, I don't think I'll recover from the embarrassment. Okay. First we go down, then we go up, and we go down, and then we go up. Because backtracking is, is, is gameplay. Really? I think that's the only thing I can I can shit on about Dark Souls 3 is the backtracking for items and the member berries. And even then, the member berries was done, I think, pretty well. It was done in such a way that new people would never even know, as I was. A newbie coming into Dark Souls 3 didn't need to know about Dark Souls 1 to enjoy the mystique and allure of the characters in this game. But at the same time, once I did learn, was like, ah, oh, it's a great big pony. <laughs> All right, we got the tit scale. Uh, what? Who is shooting spells at me? Stop that. You should all be dead. You should all be doing the eternal side. Didn't get the lever. That's, that's not just embarrassing. It's fucking annoying. Come over here. I'm gonna dip my head in the wax. Come over this boy. and me go up the stairs. Uh, and we just keep running. And we just keep running. And Elden Ring gave us non-combat infinite stamina, which was like such a five-head big dick energy move. I just can't even tell you. I just I can't quite express how much that meant to me, giving us the ability to run forever when there were no enemies around. All right, so seeing as I need to go down there for that, I should take this... You know the worst part? After pulling the lever, uh, I, I could have I still saved time by going back the proper way, and getting both items. Instead, like an idiot, I ran up here, and now I'm running back down here because I was an idiot. See, it's like poetry. My, <laughs> the movements, they rhyme. All right, um, yeah. More than just a chin. My heart be racing and if I die, don't wake me Cause you were more than just a dream Yeah, that is uh, very much stuck in my head if you guys couldn't tell. It's subtle, I know. I'm good at hiding things and... Oh, I did forget that there was an item there. Man, I am dropping all kinds of balls. Big balls, small balls, swollen balls, shriveled balls. If there's balls to find, well, I'm dropping them. Yes, sir. Taking those balls and just dropping those suckers. Dropping the balls. Dropping all the balls. All balls, paws. That's what they call me. Hmm. You know, if you're your own best friend, you're never lonely. Okay, I didn't mean for that to sound nearly as pathetic as it did. 
I have friends, heaps of friends. Scads and troves and droves of friends. Hordes of friends. I think I ran out of rhyming words. Also, uh, once again, I was stupid. I uh, should have taken the elevator. That's the reason I sent it back down, but I'm just, I'm, I, I'm, I'm beyond thinking 10 steps ahead. Uh, what you see is what you get. Strap in, strap on if you're into that, and you know, just enjoy the ride. Uh, just, just, just enjoy the ride. Try not to get nauseous. Uh, no guarantee we are going where we're headed or we will be able to find the way back once we are there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that covers all my bases. Legally, too. Those are legally binding bases. Oh, God. I, we didn't recover the wax. I even... Ah, I put my head in the wax, but it wasn't gone yet, so I didn't present the wax. It was just a fucking... It was all a facade. It was for show. It was a grand menagerie. It was a kabuki theater of entertainment. It was all theater. Now I'm getting pissed. But you know what? I'm just gonna face take it and laugh through it. Live, laugh, learn, love, eat, pray, sleep. Fuck. We might not make it to the rooftop, guys. I'll be honest. I don't know if I even have an hour in me. Alright, the party's still holding, which means the audio should still be holding. Good, grand, wonderful, amazing, magical! No yelling on the bus! Also, where? where? I, I should have gotten more wax. I should have... I should have got a wax before I came up here. No, no, I did. I know. I knew it. I knew I should have got a wax, and I did it. I did it myself. It's fine. I know. I know. Now the consequences will never be the same. There's a throwback. That's dated. That should show my age. Uh, I hate this area. This area might be my most hated area in the game for one reason. There are two crystal lizards, and it's not impossible, but it is near impossible to kill them both. To kill one, and then the other, before one of them disappears. So you have to just reset the area or come back later. I hate that. Fuck you. Give me all the stuff. Ridiculous. Foul. Yeah, the Ash of the War does so much more damage than the, the weapon skills. It's such a... Uh, that really blew me away. It was such a simple design, but so, I want to say, essential to, to, to the Souls likes, to the engine that is these games. Letting you put a weapon skill on your weapon just makes so much versatility, adaptability, fun. It, uh, there's a reason I, I, I was so addicted to making Elden Ring characters. It's because I, just just on a single, like, weapon ability, I'd be like, that sounds really cool. I want to do that. Uh, this is not the... Tr oh, that is a drop point, but is it the drop point? At least I don't remember. Let's just drop, and then we'll point. All right, now, yeah, it's just a tight night chunk down to this asshole. Oh, wait, nope. All right, yes, it is this point. Uh, hallelujah. Oh, telling stories? Don't let me interrupt. I'm just here to put the kids to bed. Just gotta put all these little kids to bed so they get all hot and full of sugar and dogma. Yeah, you're saying you know, you just get them all Babysitter. Oh, uh, it's time for sadness, everyone. I hope you're ready. Did you bring your tears? Wait a minute. He's not here. Oh, that's fucking annoying. Uh, all right. So, spoiler. Take away all the stakes and all the build-up and the drama. This is where we find Grey Rat. Grey Rat's dead. I thought I sent him out. Yeah, he comes here and he's all like, oh, I, I went to the other places. I'll be fine. He wasn't fine. He died. We take his ashes back to the handmaiden. 
He, uh, he dies a nameless, pitiless death. As does everyone hail Dark Souls. And there it was, always at the hour mark. Well, all right, the party's back. So however long that was popping, sorry. I'm really trying to catch it before it happens. Oh, God, back up the stairs. Back, back, back up the stairs. I guess, guess what we have to do once we get back up the stairs? We got to jump again. We got to jump down. <laughs> it's just backtracking. It's like a carousel in reverse, and you're chained to it. I'm neglecting my vandalism. That's so unlike me. So very, very unlike me. <laughs> I can't I must abide by the local customs. If there's one thing you must adhere to, it is the local customs. And the local customs dictate vandalism of the highest order. I mean, look at this. They're vandalizing their own castle. That could be the only explanation as to why the place is in such disrepair. So to show my consideration for their generous... Hospitality, and I shall vandalize their things as well. Give my support, as it were. Yo, spear's so base. By that, I mean, fuck spears. Fuck the gargoyles in general. Fuck their weak hiding bullshit. Ever flame weaponry. Fuck their crinkle cracking. Swinging, winging. Pump digging. Gig a troll, rip of a roll. Fuck all that shit. No time. No time for it. Alright, I am not gonna lie, I was a little proud of Giga Troll Rigamarole. Hey, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Be kind, please rewind. Yes! No no no. What? Board. I'm hoping to be like, you know, the funny divorced dad by age 40. <laughs> I'm so upset that, 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 yeah. Well, here we go. What can be done? What can be done? We were robbed. The game's unplayable. Someone needs to contact FromSoft. Let them know that they're hacks, that they've run their course, they're done. They're finished. They just need to, you know, let go and lead, let, let other terrific companies like EA lead the way and, and Ubisoft and, and Microsoft and oh, I'm not gonna lie guys, that, that, that joke made me a little sad. That, joke, that joke's actually getting me a little, a little, little misty-eyed. Nah, not really. It's kind of weird. It's got to like kind of, I mean, I, I feel anyway, you got to put a disclaimer on everything. Like literally everything you say these days. You need a, like a disclaimer per word. And that's not to say that there aren't just fucking idiot assholes out there that say the stupidest, meanest shit for no reason. And then try and justify it because, you know, they should be able to say whatever they want to say. But it is, it is frustrating that, it, that the pendulum swings the other way and that... Then again, I, I've always believed in strong communication, so putting a disclaimer before everything is just a surefire way, an airtight way of buckling down your, uh, your intent and not miscommunicating. I guess. Which is funny that I'm talking about how much I love communication and then I come up with Giga Troll Rigmarole and, good God, pick 20% of any of the insane bathroom bullshit I've said tonight. I mean, we've been here an hour, an hour, and I've probably already feel, uh, filled like the 2024 encyclopedia of clowns. 
What a beautiful sun, uh, sun, sun void, sun void. What a beautiful sun void. Yeah, sorry if I'm not taking the time to appreciate the uh, beautiful views. My head's too mushy for that. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to maintain that. We've got to go this way to get this way. Yes, the floor is made of floor. You believe in yourself, eat all you sleep, don't do drink. Drink your teeth, get eight hours of drugs. God, that's that's ancient. That was that was old when I was a whippersnapper. That's some YTMND shit. Alright, uh so we're not full technically technically done with the archives basically what i'm going to do here is i'm going to get the shortcut that leads back to the bottom and then tomorrow uh we are going to go through the very small raft is more importantly just the roof and we'll get to the boss we'll fight lothric tomorrow and then we'll head straight into the dlc this was a magic wielding knight he see how his sword is blue with crystal it's just like Feelings from Dark Souls 1. See, it's like poetry, they rhyme. And I bet you didn't know this, but see Grand Archives? Well, this place is called the Grand Archives, and see this place had books, and this place has books. But you didn't know that. This place also has that motherfucker who has no goddamn business shooting at me from all the fuckways up there. Are you fucked in the head? No, you're just shot in the head. Get fucked, worm man. Slither on back into the bucket of KFC chicken that you came from. I, I, I took a personal insult to that guy trying to shoot me from there. Like, just get, have some fucking tact. Have some decency. Have some decor. Have some grace. Have some virtue. Have some benevolence. Have some banana pudding. Have some arrogance. Have some, oh yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> it's okay to accept that sometimes you need to tell yourself to shut the hell up. <laughs> and then her mail come and get it, black hand got her there to the throne of the fortune of the Lothric, which him hongs him, bees, your leap shoulders with the bows and arrows coming at you like Hulkamania wrestle running wild at the 30th all time two six chance event Gavin yes Gavin would you please shut the hell up Gavin no fuck you yeah, all right, fair enough man that axe would be like intimidating if its reach was slightly longer than your average I was gonna say pickle Man, that shows you that I'm hungry. Normally I'm better at analogies. Uh, longer than the average, uh, 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 uh toenail clipper. There, at least that's something. Better than pickle. Are you fat rolling? Just go say. Oh, I, oh, and this, this the fucking magic bitch is uh, actually bothering me in here too. Good for her. Wow! They hit me with a c-c-c-combo breaker. Well, well done, Dark Souls 2. You do still have it. You do still have it. If you put your mind to it, Dark Souls 3, you can still kill me. And I need to be basically impaired with one brain arm tied behind my skull. But still, you pulled it off. I'll give it to you. 100% a win for you, Dark Souls 3. That, that, that was... That was te best in show, 10 out of 10. Did I, did I kill one of them? I think I killed the black hand. Hmm. That's actually going to, I, I mean, that's not gonna upset me if I don't get his items now, even though I think I have four sets sitting in the box. But I'll be really upset, guys. If I get robbed that way. All right. Uh, okay, nope, there's his items and he's dead. 
Got a heavy attack stun into a, what is it, crystal soul spear, I think is the big one in this game. No meteors, no space, no comet Azula, no comet trail, no greater comets, no. All right, so you, okay, you, you, wanna, you wanna talk axes? I'll talk axes. We can talk axes. I'll talk axes with you all fucking day. Oh, look at that, see, that's called range. That's what your axe doesn't have. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I got one of those. Oh, you can see, still I can pull away. So, so come on in, come on down. Good for him. I actually thought he had me there. Oh, all right, sex. What? All right, all right. You know, I'm getting a little tired of the taste of my foot. It's just been in my mouth so much tonight. It's just, it's really ruining my appetite here. I know some people are into that. Some would enjoy the, the scrumptious, succulent taste of a good foot just parked in their mouth like a lollipop, like a, like a five-fingered lollipop. And you get one more. Yeah, you get one more. Yeah, I love that this one's got a counter dagger, but she never, like, counters with it. She counters and she goes, oh, and then just stands there. That was an ordeal. Do, do I owe it to you guys to just beat Lothric tonight? I think I might. We're so close. We really are so close. Yeah, let me... Let me clear out the roofs. We, we, we're, we're basically right here. If I put it off, I don't, I don't really think there'd be any real reason for it. And we will take a look at the beautiful side. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just because I'm hungry. It's just because I'm hungry, hedonistic, and self-indulgent. I want noms. So I have to say, for all the fails that we had, I know we will succeed here. Because I think these three enemies are my favorite enemies in the whole... No, okay, nope, sorry. The, uh, the Corvian Knights are my favorite enemies in the entire game to report. Uh, because it takes one of the most lethal and scary areas of the game and makes it hilarious. But these guys are definitely like a close second. These guys are uh, close second favorite enemies to remove. My god, nature is here. bad boys are worth a chunk of change i mean they are worth so much they are just worth like great grinding rotation probably the best late game grinding now nah, okay now uh if you put on item discovery the ringed city's inner swamp uh the not only do the the scarab men give you a lot of souls but they have a chance of dropping i think souls of like champions which is rare, but not unheard of. All right, gotta grab a few items on the roof. Now, if that isn't just a beautiful sight, I tell ya, I swear, I swear that beach is looking very much like Majula, but every beach looks like Majula these days. Gotta get back. Back to the, well, actually, the land's between Zelda and Ring. So back to the things betwixt that led to the land of doubt. We're just going to stop. We're going to stop right there. I did not bone up on this lore. Um, 
It, but honestly, it's it's one of the the lore, the lore pieces that is I feel least explained in Dark Souls Three, and also one that I'm so desperate to know of. So this cage up here, this cage houses this dead creature that had feathers and made this miracle. I believe uh, it's stated that it was a child of Lothric. Miracle of Gertrude, the heavenly daughter. I'm I'm not sure who Gertrude was. I don't know if she was like a bastard child or like an ancestral or an experimental child because I think it's implied that she had wings. The queen's holy... Okay, well, there it is. It's right there. I'm a... Oh, boy, man. I am really loving this taste of foot. Uh, the queen's holy maiden, Gertrude, was visited by an angel who revealed this tale. Despite losing both her sight and her voice, she was determined to record the tale. Ordinary men cannot decipher her fragmentary scrawl nor comprehend how it became the foundation of the angelic faith of Lothric. So, yeah, the angelic faith is heretical. It came from Gertrude, the queen's holy maiden. The uh, winged knights are heretical knights that follow her. It's implied that either the golden knights up here are guarding her or that that she was imprisoned here by the kingdom of Lothric and the Lothric scholars and that the golden knights found her and are now just sort of like guarding her body. But yeah, the angelic faith is, is wild and... The, how it sprung up a heretical religious sect in Lothric and, and why Gertrude was imprisoned in this giant bird cage. What the implication of the feathered wings is, because feathered wings typically comes from the cold painting. Uh, the Corvians, the uh, yeah, Priscilla, and the, the bird creatures. Ornifax. Hello, PHT. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. I got shinies in my tummy, and they're they're nothing new. I've got so many. I've got so many shinies. Uh, you know the fun part about uh, fighting Lothric and Lorian, though, is that I get to talk to you guys about one of my other favorite theories in this game. INCEST! Apparently, I think it's actually memed. I'm not the first one to postulate. Um, and I think I started it more as a joke, but like looking into everything, even if it's not sexual in nature, I think there are some signs that Lorian and Lothric loved each other more than brothers. Uh, Lorian, the fact that they were born cursed, that their souls were like entwined, said to be, you know, two souls of the same. Uh, there's that. The, yeah, you know what? We're gonna ride the elevator back up. Yeah, we're gonna ride the elevator. Uh, the fact that they retire to Lorian's bedchamber to watch the the fire fade. It's a pretty big bed, too. It's, it's a pretty big bed. Uh, it's one of those things, though, that there is no, like, real hard evidence and so you could just as easily say that everything I'm saying is completely wrong and pulled out my ass and I would agree with you uh, but again that is a fun part of Dark Souls is uh, is picking apart the lore and trying to find the what ifs and what have yous uh, but all right the Grand Archives are done we just got to make our way across the bridge <laughs> Diddly diddly do. I don't want them. Diddly diddly do. I want to kill them. Diddly diddly do. If I could stick a knife in your heart. Well, then time would definitely pass you by. Ow. Ow. It's all right. All right, wise guys. All right. All right dude, I wasn't thinking you weren't taking your duty seriously. Soldiers. 
Dare I hold your hand? Can you have for you, boy? Physical display. Your name shall be written in the chamber part of time to be pissed on by all the descendants of royalty. I say, you there, boy. Find that lonesome knight behind you. And you there, dance for me, puppet! Alright, well, it looks like those two are gonna fight, so let's give this guy. Let's give this guy a, a courtesy. A, cur a culling courtesy. A courtesy culling. Guys, look, I'm just trying to come out on top, right? I don't care if you win, if you die, but I gotta come out on top. Ow! And we did not come out on top. Ooh, we got like a whole Lothar Knight set now. Look at this armor. I don't think I've showed the Lothar Knight set. Like, it's sick. Like, it is just like standard knight's armor, but it's got a cool cape. Very shiny. Okay, uh, so before we get to the boss, uh, let me blue ball you all with the most time consuming, but very useful, at least in your original run, when you need upgrade material. Let me also get my soul acquisition equipment ready and raring. Uh, this one's fire, so we're gonna use speckled stone plate. All right, step one. Yes, I am so glad that we're taking the time to, to do this. All for the Titanite Slab. The vital, vital Titanite Slab. How valuable is it? Well, it's worth time, and time is priceless. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm having a blast with this run, and all that's left is the DLCs, which I know we will sail through. They're a lot of fun. They're also a lot of sweat and bullshit at times, but they've got some of the best bosses that Dark Souls has to offer. And I'm excited to uh, see you guys in future streams. My name's Master Fong, and if you somehow made it this far, uh, well done, but maybe go seek like a physician's opinion on the state of your mental being. Um, I'm pretty sure my ramblings are toxic in high enough doses. Seriously, I'm having a great time. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the Lothrian and Lorikia. The Lothric and Lorian boss fight. These are the three pillars. There, I always get them wrong. It's the scholar, the priestess, and the knight. Emma was the high priestess, the religious one, all about the fire linking cycle and having a perfect heir. The knights are protectors, loyal, dumb, stupid, dumb, throw their lives away people. And then the scholars were, you know, for knowledge, but the scholars soon realized that knowledge corrupts or something. And then you've got the Angelic Faith, so that was the offshoot. The Wicked Knights, I guess, were kind of an offshoot of the Knight and the Scholar. Uh, I'm going to shut my app uh, because this is one of the few cutscenes we get, and it's very good. I, I will say, like, as far as the master bedroom goes, pretty on point. Oh, and uh, as you guys know, I always mention, those spiraling pillars... Uh, they're so indicative of the Abyss from Dark Souls 2. I, I just can't help but feel like they were put in on purpose. Uh, alright, let's see if I can, uh... <laughs> oh, that, that, that joke was, no, that joke will never see the light of day. That'll stay right here in the dark recesses of my twisted mind. Uh, new joke, new joke. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's spank the twins? No, they're probably into that. Alright. Let's just have fun with it. Oh dear. Another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one. Purloiner of cinders. Mind you, 
The mantle of Lord interests me none. The fire linking curse, the legacy of Lords, let it all fade into nothing. It's kind of what all of you wanted to do. Now have your rest. I respect that Dark Souls 3 was like, let's uh, make a story establishing the future again. This is how it is. There's the fire looking curse, and then you can well, let's turn that on its head and be like, oh, we can't be society. This is bullshit. We don't want to do this. Wow, uh, Lorian's being a real cunt in this first phase. Uh, real, real bit of a cunt you're being, Lorian, for no reason. Okay. Alright. With respect, you know, I got you back. It's your right. It's your right, you fucking asshole. Got that follow-up. Great music though. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting real Talking. Those bed sheets are awfully askew. My brother, unyielding sword of Lothric's prince. But here's the plot twist. Rise if you would. For that is our curse. That's right. Prince Lothric is actually the top, and he's about to show us how he tops his sub. Shout out to Subway for not sponsoring anything I've ever done. I don't think I'd seek them out either. I used to love Subway, but they got me sick multiple times in multiple locations. Couldn't go back. And I'll eat anything. All right, so now we got to deal with uh, Fire Fist and the gas hole. The flame, oh my god, it's the flame and swordsman! And he's a fusion master! We gotta do a big ass, and then we can add, oh god, that's a big ass. Woohoo! Okay, oh, that's cool. Alright, enough of this. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing the shot in this game. I'm taking you to the suplex too. I'm taking you to where your brother wants to take you.
with that, we've got our we got our last Lord of Cinder, and we're uh, ready to go on to the end of the game and stuff of things and all that things and stuff. I am ravenous. I'm going to go have myself a big bowl of cereal 10 o'clock at night because that is the type of thing a mature, well-adjusted, <laughs> satisfactory member of society does. Uh, so much brain. Just so much brain. But it's all right. I'm glad I streamed. I'm glad we got this time together. I'm glad that we got as far as we did. We got a lot of souls. We probably might even hit our strength 99, but who knows? That'll be the cliffhanger. We'll see for next time. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Check out my Twitch and YouTube if you feel like it. Um, once Dark Souls 3 is over, probably not going to have any time to stream anything else until the move. But once we get set up uh, and we are moved into Pennsylvania, it'll be it'll be Elden Ring DLC all the way. It'll be the first and last thing I do, and uh, I am just so excited. Uh, so that's about it. Catch you guys later. Bye bye.